I like the occasional moments of absolute honest emotion that can sometimes seep out through this. My favorite moment in the history of the Oscars was when Lauren Bacall lost the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. That was the prom in Carrie. There was smoke coming out of her ears. That's my Lauren Bacall impersonation. The first Oscar telecast I ever watched was the year that Gandhi went up against E.T. Two small brown characters who loved peace. I'm about Elliot's age, and I'm rooting for E.T. like I should be. And Gandhi won. And I'm like, and I, and I said something which I don't think anyone said. I said, I hate you, Gandhi. And that was the first time I had Oscar rage. I'm having Oscar anger right now. A film wins. You know it doesn't deserve to win, and you scream, what? Ah! And you throw stuff at the screen. There was one year I picked up everything on my table and started chucking it at the screen because Ghost is not a well-written movie. And it won for its writing. The whole time, Swayze's saying, oh, I'd give anything to just touch you once more. But he's picking up the penny, he's typing on the keyboard. Touch Demi Moore, let's go home! I've seen every film that's ever won Best Picture. From 1927's Wings, through last year's Lord of the Rings, The Return of the whatever the heck that was. I've seen every Best Picture nomination since 1950, with one exception. Sons and Lovers, and Ain't on Tape. I've looked. Basically, I became Rain Man, which won in 1988, produced by Mark Johnson. Right now I'm behind in my best picture watching because, well, I'm a husband, my wife is pregnant, and somehow that took priority over me watching every movie that I can watch, which is strange. I remember when I was watching The English Patient, it dawned on me. This film may not end. You leave for a couple hours, you come back, and he's still in bed. Yep, they're still flying around the desert. She's in a cave.